Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. This morning I'm out visiting a property in Columbia, South Carolina that will be included in our next online auction. The address is 1212 Widgeon Way, W-I-D-G-E-A-N Way. It's up on the north side of Columbia above the Interstate uh, 20. But it's a real nice, uh, quiet neighborhood. All brick homes look like they're well maintained. We have a bank foreclosure, it didn't make the payment, so the bank took it back. They just got this property, and I'm the first one here, they don't even know uh, what condition it's in. But let me tell you real quick, it's a three bedroom, one bath house. They enclosed the garage or carport, made a nice little room out of it. This was a pretty straight house until a tree fell on the roof. The kitchen uh, roof uh, has leaked. It's not, it's not a major repair, or I would, wouldn't call it major, it can be fixed. So come out and look at it, and you decide how much it's going to cost you uh, to put a roof on it. The neighbor over there told me the roof wasn't that old, but this big pine tree fell and went right through it. Um, so there has been a little bit of damage. All right, we're going to head inside, and I'll let you look at it. Then you come out on the inspection day and look it over yourself and decide what you want to do. But it is a pretty good house to start with. All right, I'm just stepping inside the front door. Um, this is pretty straight uh, standard about what I find in most of these uh, foreclosures. Come in and paint, clean paint, um, put down some carpet, that type thing, and normally that's what you do anyway. Need a little patch in here in the ceiling. Looks like the sheetrock tape has come off. That should be an easy fix. Somebody's tried to do something with it uh, before. All right, let's just go on and get that kitchen over with. Here we are, and like I said, uh, the bank doesn't even know this. I just came out here today, but there's, there it is. The tree fell, put some holes in the roof, broke that one truss. Uh, that stuff looks pretty sturdy. You're gonna need a few sheets of up, OSB, some shingles. Maybe I have to repair a couple of them. Put it all back together. Yeah, there's another one broken right there. But all that can be fixed. Probably a, a good day for two or three men and they'll have it done. Then put you some new sheetrock in here and you'll be fine. I would have said the flooring would have been good in here, but now just go on. It looks like the cabinets have gotten wet. So you're probably gonna need some cabinets and everything too, but come out and look at it over. The rest of the uh, room looks fine. Uh, it's paneled painted, looks pretty good. And on this other side where uh, the water hadn't leaked, it looks pretty good. Now I don't see the floor buckled at this time, so um, I may call the bank and see if they'll come down and put a tarp on it. And if they do, they'll be here at the inspection. All right, I'm gonna go right over here. Um, This is that addition, uh, bonus room, you'll see it from the outside. They did a good job on this. It's nice and paneled. Neighbor told me she knew who stayed here uh, at one time. They uh, moved, let their uncle take over the payments and he, he didn't keep up with them. Look, the ceiling looks fine in here. Hadn't been for that uh, tree, this whole house would look pretty good. All right, and there's an extra room over here. That's probably your laundry. We'll check it out. It is, that's your hookups for your washer dryer. A little bit of extra shelving and storage in there. So that's pretty nice. That would have been probably like a bonus room on your carport. But they closed it in and you've got that extra space makes a nice den. Okay, we'll head down the hallway now. We've seen this kitchen. You know what you have to do. The rest of the house, clean paint carpet. That's what it's gonna be. Uh, bath looks pretty good. I'll step around. Needs a little cleaning in here. Uh, I don't see, maybe a piece of popcorn popped off the ceiling. Floor probably wants some new flooring in here. I'm looking at the carpet in the house. You know, just probably gonna put in some new carpet. Here's the uh, first bedroom. Door's a little ragged. It's gonna need a little prep work in here. Uh, some paint. 
just that same old boring thing that you hear me say all the time, clean paint carpet. So it looks like that. All right, let's uh, check another bedroom. That's me rattling the tripod. Sorry about that. Same thing in here. The walls look pretty good. It's a decent house. I hate that tree fell on it. I think the people were moved after the tree fell on it, and that's why nothing uh, was done. Then it takes a while to go through the foreclosure process, and so that's what we find. This room is pretty good. This is a good solid house. All right, we have another bedroom. You can see the door from here. It's probably going to need a little work on it, a little tension. I don't know what you're going to use it for. Maybe just put a new one in. And again, this last bedroom, it's three bedroom, one bath. Come here and clean it up a little bit, paint, and you'll be fine. All right, we're gonna go outside. Um, just look around a little bit. I'm back at the front door, I'm trying to get my gloves back on. It's freezing out here. It's 27 degrees. Um, the trim and all looks good. This is that addition, it's vinyl. Uh, here's where you can see where the tree fell. I'll show you the roof. Still some limbs on there, but there's some more pines back here. Uh, yard is fenced. And it looks like, to me, there was a gas unit over there. I'm gonna walk over there and show you. I, I saw the roof buckled when I got out here. You'll be able to see it when you get here. Where the, that's a pretty heavy tree and it broke some stuff. All right, this is uh, where I think that looks like a gas line furnace. Maybe the meter and everything goes right here. I do see gas uh, meter at the neighbor's house. So I'm pretty sure it's available. Here's your backyard. But it looks real good, the rest of the house does. We'll just fix that roof. And I'm gonna go around, I don't usually look under the crawl space, but it was open and I think they've taken the unit. Someone has. We'll just go back around. While we're going around, you can see, um, I met that lady on the corner. She's pretty nice. And uh, her mother lives in the neighborhood. She shouldn't have been here a long time. But here's the other end of the house. And the trim looks really good. It's all uh, wrapped. Not bad at all. Some shutters would be a nice touch. Um, we'll get around here. I'm gonna have to somehow or another. This is around on the side. We'll give you an idea, but here's where I see all that ductwork laying. That tells me the unit is missing. Okay, this is a bank foreclosure. Okay, that's going to uh, wrap us up here at 1212 Widgeon Way, Columbia, South Carolina. As you see, it's not as bad as I maybe made it sound. It can be fixed pretty easy. A few sheets of plywood uh, fix that one truss and I think you'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna head on to some more houses. Before I do, I wanna just remind you, this is an online only auction. All biddings on the internet. We do not come to the premises. The house will be open uh, the day before bidding ends for about four hours. You can come by and look it over, check it out any way you want to. Now, any other time, you can come out here and walk around it, uh, but the, just the doors won't be open. All right, and another thing, read that contract package. There's a lot of information in the uh, package, answers a lot of your questions, how to bid, how to, uh, what the terms are, how much money you have to have, when you have to have it all, how you take possession, all that's in there. If you need some additional information or clarification after reading the package, then fine. Uh, give us a call. Our number's right there at the bottom of the screen. Somebody's there to help you. If you can't get a hold of us, send us an email and we'll return your call. Info at terryhow.com. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it'll encourage you to come out, look at the property, inspect it yourself. Uh, I think this is a good opportunity here. Not a lot of repairs. 
have a good house, a good solid house. It looks like a stable neighborhood. So come on out, look the house over, then go home and bid. All right, one last time. It's online only. The address is terryhow.com. We appreciate you being here.